It's NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. From Smoothie King Center in downtown New Orleans, tonight it's the New Orleans Pelicans getting set to match up with the San Antonio Spurs. The San Antonio Spurs control the jump. Hey, lock up, lock up. And finishes strong. Oh, that's a great way to make an opening statement. It's about the team that's able to punch the other team in the mouth first. That's exactly what you want to do if you're the road team. Oh, emphatic slam. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. It's DeRozan. Defense. To Aldridge. Defense, let's go. Screen coming. Takes stock of the floor. Lonzo Ball matched up with DeJounte Murray. To Aldridge. Offensive board. LaMarcus Aldridge. Missed his first. That one goes. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps... stuffs it down with authority. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's prob city. To DeRozan. Shot from the lane, won't go. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. So many times we get on the defender for quote-unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. Free throws good, a three-point play, and with that, they go up by three. Murray with the basketball. He'll run the offense. Has a look. DeRozan with a shot. No good. Count the basket at the rim. Some players are just built to absorb the contact. He pretty much dusted that defender off like that was a bug at the park. Knock loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way and stuffs it home. Jay, this is getting scary fast. If you're the defense, you have to deny him the ball. Maybe throw a box in one. Maybe throw a zone. Maybe even throw the kitchen sink because he's putting on a show in the first quarter. They're going to make some changes with some new personnel on the floor. Number 18, Marco Bellinelli. Left, left, left. Shoot right, shoot right, right, right. DeJounte Murray. Let's it fly from long range. He took the bait and he hits. Great shot by the offense. But the defense, you can't afford to collapse off that penetration. I'd rather a team take a tough two than a wide open three. And he's fouled. And he earns a trip to the line. Ed, the reality is that good jump shooters know how to get those calls. 
Overall, though, there's less flopping in the game, which is great. But there's something uncanny about certain players' abilities to get those calls on a regular basis. them both Murray into the front court now down six great pass to set it up no good defense catching a break there baskets good on the follow way to stay with it He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. It's a big finish. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. There's Jante Murray over to the right side. To Howard. And the reward, a couple of shots at the line. It's still early, so no real impact on that call. But you know that they're going to call this one tight, so you might want to keep your hands out of his pocket. Dwight Howard, a couple of free throws on the way. 56% for his career. First try, no good. Missed the second. 0 for 2. DeMar DeRozan. Huge block. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Aldridge to DeRozan. To Murray. Shot clock winding down. DeJounte Murray. Ah, that's a 24-second violation. Yes, and a foul. Hell of a chance at a three-point play. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the player. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. He completes a three-point play, and the lead is up to nine. DeMar DeRozan with the basketball. Aldridge to Murray. Whoa! What a finish! An easy two. Get back on defense. And count the basket. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Murray with it. Nine-point margin to Aldridge. Superman, Dwight Howard. Two for three now here in the first. And the defenders got to take note. Otherwise, that shot's going up all game long. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Oh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref spit, and that's the game. Good. Cashes in on the three-point play. The lead now stands at 10. It's DeRozan controlling the offense. Has a chance. DeMar DeRozan 
First couple didn't go. That one is true. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. DeRozan with the basketball. Trailing by 10. Won't go down. And scores. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. To DeRozan. his own miss and scores good concentration now I know you probably don't want to hear this but you have to take it one possession at a time you have to continue to chip away it hasn't been the best first quarter but if you get a couple more of those to drop you'll find yourself right back in this ball game Spurs have it to DeRozan DeMar DeRozan Two of four now. You can finally see this team starting to get their rhythm and their groove offensively. This is a good run to get them back in the ballgame. Slam dunk. Jay, they've had no answer for this guy. He's been on fire this first quarter. That's the way you take it right to your opponent. You attack right out of the gate. To DeRozan. Here comes the screen. DeRozan matched up with Cherepko. Short jumper won't go down. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. throws good as they continue to widen their lead. Mills in possession. Looking to make something happen. Ah, rock in the rim. Jay, perhaps that's a start. Those kind of plays get me fired up. That's a momentum play. They look lifeless here in the first quarter, but a dunk like that can get your team going in the right direction. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. 15-footer at the buzzer. The first quarter's complete. It's been all Pelican so far. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. Lonzo Ball with the rock to Beasley. Holiday. Sizing up the defense to Ball. Down low, Thompson. Holiday. Shot by Ingram misses. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. DeRozan. No good. Lonzo with it. His guy's up by 15. 
Here comes the screen. Drew Holiday defended by DeMar DeRozan. Ingram's shot won't go. To Patty Mills. Won't go. That's rebounded by Beasley. And they'll get it down to Thompson. To Holiday. Shot clock, it's coming down to four. Now down to three. Short jumper off the mark. Right now, San Antonio's possession. DeRozan to Patty Mills. Here comes the screen. Off the assist. Whistle stops play. Timeout, New Orleans, as they'll talk things over here in the second quarter. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh. Kicks it around the perimeter. From long range. Misfires. It's no good. Mills in possession. Trailing by 15. Trying to cash in. Ball into the front court. They'll run the offense. Stuffs it down with authority. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out, out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. Defense forces the turnover, and it leads to points. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Down low, Aldridge. Lamarcus Aldridge. He is shooting well. He's made two-thirds of his shots. Old school equals high percentage. And finishes strong. This is becoming a runaway. They're getting to the rim at will, probably because we're watching Matador defense. You probably want to get in the way of your defender if they keep trying to attack the rim. Stuffs it down with authority. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dunked that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Screen coming up, screen coming up. Knocked loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. Rises for the slam. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Patty Mills. Oh, he had him there for a second. Knocked loose. It's Pelican's ball. That's usually one that he'll knock down. Tough mate through traffic. I was expecting the disc there, but way to fake that one and lay that one in. Mills in possession. His guys down big to Murray.
He's denied. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Stuffs it down with authority. Spurs will take the timeout as he'll take a moment to go over things here in the second quarter. Dejounte Murray, down low, Aldridge. LaMarcus Aldridge. That's three now on four shots. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. To ball. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Man, that may not have been a gimme but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Mills with a shot that won't go. Foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Hey, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. Throws good. It's a three-point play. This big first half continues. Pick up, pick up. My ball, my ball. Patty Mills. The pass set it all up. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Curling inside, leaves his man in the dust and finishes at the rim. Man, if we were at Rucker Park right now, Everybody will be wilding on the court. Guaranteed. San Antonio with the basketball. Patty Mills to Aldridge. Nothing going here on that drive. LaMarcus Aldridge. Terrific shooting. He's four for five. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. All by himself. Creates his own shot there. Defenders had no chance on that one. That's why we call it the elite tier. Mills in possession. Down a bundle to Aldridge. Short jumper won't fall. Ball. Stuffs it down with authority. Like my old coach used to say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's way too easy. Just keep attacking. It's easy money. Mills in possession. His guys can hold for the final shot. Short jumper off the mark. Ah, oh, the monster stuff. Late heave to beat the buzzer. A very one-sided first half of basketball as we are at halftime. Let's get you to Orlando where we say hello to Jalen Rose in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen.
time for the Rose Report at halftime, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. The Pelicans certainly didn't have a problem putting up points in the opening half. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. Have a look at the leading scores. The Spurs have got themselves in a bad situation that seems likely to only get worse. There isn't enough time to get into all of their problems, but I'll tell you this, they need to try to get better. These are the guys getting buckets for the San Antonio Spurs. Player of the half. The field speaks for itself. He's definitely the player of the half. Now he just got to give an encore to get his team to win. Back to Ed and Jay to bring you the second half action. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Aldridge to DeRozan. Has a look. DeRozan with a shot off the mark. The contest was good, but you being a nuisance was great. Continue to be that gnat that no matter how many times you swing at it, it never goes away. And he's fouled. He's going to the line for two. I don't know, Ed. Maybe there's a long-term play here. But next game, we're going to be aggressive early. Maybe. And hits the first free throw. Goes two for two at the line. Now whistle. San Antonio is going to use a timeout as their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter. DeJounte Murray to DeRozan. Drew Holiday ah, tips it. And that'll be out of bounds. Last touch by Holiday. DeRozan. Clocks at five. Down to four. Here's a chance from long range. Buries it on the catch and shoot. The post shot confidence is everything. He's still running down the court, holding his extension. Here we go. Here we go. Leaving no doubt. Slams it down. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. He takes it right at them and scores. You have to fill in there. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. 
The crossover gets inside and the slam dunk. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. Aldridge to DeRozan. He's going to the free throw line to shoot. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. Dwight Howard has got two shots coming. He's struggled so far. Nope. First one does not go. the second as well. I got ball. I got ball. Stuffs it down with authority. He got through traffic with ease, but if you're going to fully collapse the defense, you're going to leave wide open three-point shooters. Jante Murray to DeRozan. Has a chance. DeRozan with a shot that misses. Ball with it up top. His guys holding the big lead. And a throw down. Man, they are just continuing to pour it on. But the one thing we know about in this league, you have to make sure that you continue to play with energy because leads can evaporate quickly. Screen coming. DeRozan, down low, Aldridge. LaMarcus Aldridge. With that shot, he's five for eight. Turns and slams it down. No doubt about where that one was headed. DeRozan with the basketball. To Aldridge. Probing the defense. To DeRozan. He wants to deliver. Trying to cash in. Missed it. He always has the green light, but the defense was ready. Your contest was great because of your proximity to the player. You forced his follow-through to be cut short, which made him short-arm the shot. Murray into the front court. Looking to make something happen to DeRozan. Has a look. Wide open look won't go. To ball. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane and create. Aldridge to Murray. Down the lane to lay it in. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender did. Double team. Double team. Double team. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. good as they continue to widen their lead. Knocked loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. And the finish. Slam dunk. And if you're on defense on that last possession, no need to look over to the coach's bench, hold up your arms, wonder what did you do. Everybody got back. Everybody communicated. Everybody pointed. It was just better offense than it was defense. Slams it down. That's what I'm talking about. Nice finish. It's all business. And they call the foul. Careful there, Jay. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement.
Knocked loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Stuffs it down with authority. Spurs will take the timeout as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter. Time for some new personnel into the game. Patty Mills. Shot. Bellinelli is shot, no good. See, the defender did a really good job. He stayed down. He didn't go. Stumps it down with authority. He climbed the ladder on that one. Well, the question is, how big is the ladder? He's still climbing. Mills in possession. His guy's down big. Screen coming. Has a chance. Yes. When this guy's open, look out. Nearly automatic. I mean, this is something everybody can relate to in their lives. It's happened to me while doing broadcast as well. Sometimes you're physically there, but mentally you're nowhere to be found. We obviously saw one of those same things happen on the court. Couldn't keep it in. Off Lonzo Ball. Spurs in possession. Patty Mills. Beyond the arc for three. No good. the lane and finish drawing at the hoop on that one might have had an extra dribble or two there but he got the shot he won Mills in possession he'll run the offense nothing going here on that drive trying to cash in the shot by Mills no good that ends the third quarter. The Pelicans own a sizable lead. with the basketball as we begin the fourth quarter and they've really had very little go right for them on either end of the floor remember that old line your attitude determines your altitude well when you see dejected faces on the sideline that poor body language gave you an impression that they had no chance to win this game DeRozan off the mark you see Ed this is where coaches get fired it's great to have good offensive sets but if you can't execute then the play was a failure DeRozan with it down a bundle Short jumper misses. Mm, this game is all about the small victories, though. The execution on that play was on point. You keep executing like that, those shots are going in eventually. To DeRozan. 
Throws it down. Mm-hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> New Orleans will take it up. Damari DeRozan with a piece. Oh, he blocked that with authority. End score, strong take. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Well, you know you can't shoot. And throws it down. At this point, they're twisting in the wind. Were you looking for a response from me? Because I don't really know what else there is to even say. I mean, is this even a game? I mean, we should just start packing up and getting ready to go right now. The drive right to the basket. Layup's good. That's as high percentage as it gets. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Good. Add one more to the total. This game feels out of reach. San Antonio ball. No, oh, not a good pass as the Pelicans come up with it. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. Oh, Lonzo Ball. Very efficient and making an impact. He's three for three. You know, teams usually shoot higher percentages early in the shot clock. Plus, you take away the legs of the defense. You have to dictate the pace. Aldridge to DeRozan. Goes to the left side. Has a look. Knocks it down. Off the step back. Ooh, is there a medic in the house? You need to get those ankles retaped ASAP. In a flash, scores at the rim. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Knocked loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. And watch him do the rest. Slam dunk. Clean up in aisle four. Repeat, clean up in aisle four. If there's anyone from the weak side that wants to participate in this game defensively, please raise your hand. To Aldridge. To Jante Murray. Tough make through traffic. Bread and butter. And there are a few that can do it better off the screen. And look out. I mean, Ed, I get more and more impressed with guys' ability to shift their body. That's a Euro step, a side step. However they find a way to get through traffic and finish like that, oof, Spurs have it. Driving right to the basket. Now ready to shoot at the line. Okay, now we're on the home stretch, and you got a big lead. Don't let your opponent back in this game by giving up extra possessions. Dejounte Murray at the line for two shots. A career 70% free throw shooter. First free throw is good. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. Finish at the rim. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Aldridge to DeRozan. It was right there. DeJounte Murray pins it. 
That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Stuffs it down with authority. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. A drive to the basket, but the shot won't go down. And one of the most underrated things in this game is it stuffs it down with authority. I mean, that was just nasty. Did you see how far he got that ball back? There was no chance for the defender. Oh, emphatic slam. Gotta love the rim rockers. Gotta be careful, though. Don't hang on the rim too long. You might get a tee. To Aldridge. Now pass stolen by the Pelicans. I tried to work the clock here, but you have to take care of the ball in this possession. Drew Holiday. Quiet night, but two for three in the contest right now. Underutilized. 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 Am I getting my point across? Let's see more of that. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Buries the three. He's too good to leave that open. It's all about creating space with the dribble. Once you have that gap, you can beat somebody in a variety of ways. He chose a dagger with the three. DeRozan. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. And look out. Big finish at the rim. And that is the sign of an unselfish team. When everybody in transition thinks they have a chance to get the ball because you have a willing passer, somebody willing to make other players on his team look great, that's only going to force your players to play that much harder on offense and give you more energy on the defensive end. Screen coming. Off the mark. He's made those before, but that was well defended. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win the defensive battle. DeRozan with a shot, no good. And they call the foul. Jay Hughes there too late. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. First one goes down. Goes two for two. down he's been doing this for years the physicality in which he plays no one wants to see that you're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body has a chance DeRozan with a shot off the mark a oh, big finish at the rim Jay that's been the story this evening I mean another one another dunk another easy possession I mean, how demoralizing can this be for the team? Why am I the only one yelling? I don't see anybody on the bench yelling. I don't see anybody on the court even angry right now. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The refs bit, and that's the game. Free throws good as they continue to widen their lead. DeRozan with a shot that misses. It's the Pelicans who come away with the victory as they cruise to win a game that was never really in doubt. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports.
is Jalen Rose. And it's time for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Pelicans won this matchup with a significant margin. You ask me, and I'll tell you, it was the ball movement that made all the difference. There's something to be said for a team that can win as a group. And that's what happened here today. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the New Orleans Pelicans. Game stats. Player of the game. Easy choice for player of the game. No one else made as big of an impact in this matchup.